everybody this is crystal so today i'm going to show you how to make this easy ribbed poncho now um for my size that i made it if you look at the picture and you like the length and everything you're going to need about 770 yards of yarn um if you want to make it longer though which you you, you can you can make it really long if you want you just need more yarn than that because it took about all my yarn to make it the length that i have but let's go ahead and get started on it Okay, for this project, I'm using Caron Cakes yarn. This was donated to me by Gretchen. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I've never used this yarn, and it looks really nice. But what it is, it's a medium weight uh, four ply. It's a uh, an acrylic wool blend, but you don't have to use that. Any type of four ply yarn will work. And there are and there are three hundred and 83 yards per skein and the color I am using is lemon lime so I'm gonna set that to the side and then I'm going to be using a size I which is a five and a half millimeter crochet hook okay you want to start off with a chain of 104 Whenever you get your chain of 104 made, without twisting it, just kind of follow it down. We're going to slip stitch into the first stitch to form a ring, one big ring. This is going to be the, the neck opening. So go ahead and slip stitch into that very first stitch. Just like that now what I'm gonna do is chain one and I'm gonna go back into that same stitch that we just slip stitched into and do a single crochet like that and now I'm gonna work my way around putting one single crochet in every stitch around And when you get back around, you should have a total of 104 single crochets. So I'm going to continue working one single crochet and every stitch all the way around my big ring until I get back to the beginning. Okay, once you make it back around after that row of single crochet, and you counted and you have 104 single crochet you want to go ahead and slip stitch into your first single crochet not the chain one you did that doesn't count as anything first single crochet like that okay now on the poncho um, it's going to have like you can see in the picture there's two points to it like one in the front and one in the back so we're going to make the first point. So we're going to start off by chaining one. And we're going to work right back into that same stitch. So right here, every point is going to consist of all into the same stitch, two double crochets. There's one and two, a chain of two, one, two, and then two more double crochets back in the same stitch and that's how the points are going to be formed each time you get to it it's always going to be the same two double crochet chain two and two more double crochet into that very first stitch and now what we're going to do is we're going to work down a chain putting one double crochet in the next 51 stitches so that's one Two, three, four, five. Continue down until you got fifty one total. Okay, I made it to where I have 
I did the 51 double crochets. So you started with the point, two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet, and then I in the I did 51 double crochets in a row after that. And then what I'm going to do in the next stitch now is another point. So in the next stitch, I'm going to go ahead and do two double crochets. One. Two. A chain of two. One. Two. And then two more back in the same stitch. And that forms our point on the opposite end. Like that. And now I'm going to go ahead and work one double crochet in the rest of these stitches. There should be 51 stitches left to match the other side. So I'm going to go ahead and work one double crochet in the last 51 stitches. Two. Three. Okay, well you made it back around. And what you'll have here is 51 double crochets on this side of the point and 51 over here and then two points with four double crochets in each of the points. We did two doubles, a chain two, and two doubles. So all together you'll have a total of 110 double crochets and then two of these chain two spaces. So now when you make it around what you want to do is slip stitch into the first double crochet, not that chain one, it doesn't count as anything, but that first double crochet. It's like that. Okay, now we're going to start every round the same from now on. What we're going to do is start off by chaining one and then working one double crochet right back into that same stitch. So that's how every round gets started. Okay, now what we're going to do in this next stitch is we're going to put a front post triple crochet right here into this next stitch. So what it is, it's a triple crochet, but it's around the post of the stitch instead of the top of it. So I'm going to yarn over twice, like I'm going to do a triple crochet. But I'm going to go around the post of the stitch like that. And then I'm just going to go ahead and finish out my triple crochet. Like that. And now we're at the point here, the chain two space. So in this chain two space, we're going to go ahead and do our point. That's where we do two double crochet. One. Two. A chain of two. And then two more double crochet. All in that same chain space. Like that. And then the next stitch, since the stitch was a front post triple, the one next to the point. This one on the other side is going to be a front post triple. So what we're going to do is we're going to do the front post triple. So we're going to yarn over twice and just go right around the post of the stitch and triple crochet. Like that. Now we're going to start working down the side here. In the next stitch, we're going to put one regular double crochet in the top of it. So double crochet right in the top of the next stitch. Now the next one is going to be a front post triple. So we're going to yarn over twice. Go right around the post of the next stitch. And triple crochet. The next one is just going to be a regular double crochet in the top of the stitch. And then the next one will be a front post triple. So yarn over twice, go around the post of the stitch, and triple crochet. The next one is going to be a regular double crochet in the top. So that's kind of the repeat all the way down this side. It's just front post triple crochet, double crochet, front post triple crochet, double crochet. And we're going to do that all along 
until we get to the next point down here. So the next stitch will be the front post triple. Like that. And then a regular double crochet into the top of the next one. Front post strip crochet and the next. And a regular double crochet in the top of the next. And I'm going to repeat this pattern all the way down this side and I'll meet you down here at the next point. Okay, I made it up here to the next point and you can kind of start to see the ribbing in it. But you'll see it a lot better the more rows that you do. Okay, I just did a double crochet and then I have one stitch here before I get to my chain two space. So I'm going to do a front post triple crochet around that stitch. And then when I in my chain two space, I'm going to do my point. So I'm going to do right through the space, two doubles. There's one, two, and then a chain of two and then back in the same space two more doubles. One, two. Now what I'm going to do is just repeat what I did over here, over here. And so since this one was a front post uh, triple crochet, our last one here, the first one over here is going to be a front post triple crochet. So I'm going to go ahead and go right around the post of it. And triple crochet and then it's going to be one double in the top of the next stitch and then a front post triple around the post of the next so I'm just repeating what I did on the other side on this side double crochet in the top of the next front post triple around the post of the next one Double crochet in the top of the next one. Front post triple around the post of the next stitch. And then double crochet into the top of the next stitch. So just keep repeating that pattern until you get back to the beginning. Okay, I made it back to the beginning and my last stitch was a front post triple crochet and now what I want to do is to end it by slip stitching in my first double crochet. That's how we're going to end every round. Just like that. And we're going to start it the same way. We're going to chain one and put one double crochet right back into that same spot. Now it's just a matter of keeping the post lined up. So this next stitch is a front post triple crochet. So you want to make sure you put a front post triple crochet around that stitch. Just like that. Now the next stitch will be a regular double crochet and top of this double crochet. And then the next stitch is going to be a front post triple crochet because we're right here before the point. So right around the post of it, like that, and now we're at the point, so we're going to go ahead and put two double crochets, a chain of two, and then two more double crochets back in that same spot. Now this next stitch is going to be a front post triple crochet since this one on the other side was. It's always going to be front post triples um, on the two right before the point on both sides of it. So we'll go ahead and front post triple and now the next one is just going to be a regular double crochet and top of that next double crochet. 
and then the next one is a front post triple and you can see the front post triple from the previous row so you want to make sure you keep it lined up and then a double crochet right here on top of this double crochet from the previous row and then a front post triple around the post of this front post triple from the previous round so this is a pretty easy pattern just keeping it lined up that's all double crochet and the double crochet from the previous round front post triple right here and we're gonna do this all the way down just like we did before until we get to the next point okay when you made it down here to the next point I did a front post triple here and then it's a double crochet into the next and then the next one's going to be a front post triple remember like I said it's always going to be every every point is going to be a front post triple before you do the point and after you do the point that's just how the pattern kind of ended up being that way and then you go ahead and do the point and in the chain two space here so two doubles chain of two and then two more doubles and two and then we're going to do our front post triple crochet around the post of the next stitch Oops. and then double crochet into the next and then we're just going to keep repeating that front post triple around the post of the next stitch and that's the way this pattern is going to be for every round double crochet in the next front post triple double crochet and you're going to do that until you get get back here to your starting point and then you're just going to start it again and every time every row it's going to grow a little bit more at the points and this is going to keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger so every row is just a repeat of that you know last row it's just a little more stitches here from right like here's where you start and you just line up post you remember you chain one and double crochet back in the same stitch and then it'll be a front post triple double front post triple double and then the front post triples are on both sides of your point here and just keep doing that and it's gonna it's gonna keep more stitches at the point on each side and it's gonna get bigger and bigger and bigger and I'm not sure how many rows I'm gonna do but I'll let you know here in just one second how many total rows I do okay I went ahead and did starting with the very first row of double crochet that we did I did 24 rounds and you can definitely make it as long as you want but you'll just need more yarn than what I said in the beginning because I used up all my yarn on these 24 rows pretty much I probably wouldn't be able to go around again but what I am going to do is I just went ahead and substitched at the end of my 24th row into my first double crochet I am going to go around the whole piece with a row of one single crochet in every stitch just to kind of clean up the edge so what I'm going to do is chain one now I'm going to go right back into that same stitch and do a single crochet and I'm going to go to the next one and single crochet so it's just one single crochet in every single stitch all the way around no back post or front post stitches or anything like that it's just all just regular single crochet and that's just going to give it a little bit of a finishing edge now if you want to make yours longer you go right ahead and make it as long as you want and then you can go ahead and put this single crochet on so I'm going to go ahead and work around 
putting one single crochet in every stitch until I get up here to my first corner and I'll meet you right up there. Okay, I've made it up to my first corner here. And what I'm just going to do is put three single crochets right through this chain space. So there's one, two, and three. I just went right through it. And then I'm going to start again with this very first stitch right here. You don't want to miss him. And put one single crochet in every stitch around again until I get to my next corner. And then when I get to my next corner, I'm just going to put three single crochets in that stitch, or in that corner spot. And continue around with one single crochet in every stitch until I get back to my starting point. Okay, when you make it back to the beginning, what you want to do is just slip stitch into that first single crochet, not that chain one, and then you can go ahead and tie off. Like that. Now, I'll show you by doing the seam where we did a chain where we every row we started to chain one and then went back into it with a double crochet it made the seam a lot less um, visible than what it would if we did a regular chain three and you know how some people use a chain three and then they start the row well, I, I used the chain one and went back in and double crocheted I think that works well on clothing it makes the seam um, not quite as visible. I mean, it's still visible, but it's not going to be near as bad as it would. So, one last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go around the the neck here with the row single crochet. So, you want to get your piece with the right side of your uh, piece facing you. If you have a side that you like better than the other, start on the back side of it that way. You won't see your knot or anything at the end. So I'm going to start. What I'm going to do is you can start anywhere that you want. But I'm going to start a little bit before my V here because I'm going to do something different when I get into the V. So I'm just going to kind of start up here in the back of my piece somewhere. So right here. It's fine. And what I'm going to do is start by chaining one. Now I'm going to work a single crochet right back into that same stitch. Like that. And now I'm going to work one single crochet and every trying to hide that tail as I go here. So that's probably what you're seeing there. Okay, what I'm going to do is just kind of crochet the V kind of together. So there's a stitch right here, and then there's like the V, v area and a stitch right after it. I'm going to go into this stitch and this stitch and kind of crochet them together. So if you see there, my camera I hope isn't too blurry. I'm going to go into this stitch, and I'm going to draw up a loop. And then I'm going to skip this little area right here in the center. And I'm going to go over here to the next stitch right beside it. And go in and draw up a loop and then I'm going to yarn over and go through all three loops on my hook so that just kind of crocheted all them or crocheted that V together and now I'm going to continue around putting one single crochet in every stitch until I get to the V on the front or the V on the other side and I'll meet you over there and I'll show you again how I did that Okay, now I'm at the V in the front of my piece. Alright, here's the V, and I'm going to crochet these two stitches together. Right at the V. So I'm going to go in, first one and drop a loop, into the next one and drop a loop, and yarn over and go through all three, just like that. Now that V looked a little bit different than the one in the back because of the way we started the one in the back, but basically. But basically what you want to do when you get to that V is just crochet the two together that are at the V. It doesn't have to be exactly perfect. So, And then I'm just going to continue putting one single crochet in every stitch until I get back around to where I started. Okay. 
Okay, when you make it back around to the beginning, all you want to do is slip stitch into that first single crochet, not the chain one, but the single crochet, and tie that off, clip your yarn, and hide all your tails, and then that is going to be it. That's all there is to it. I think it was pretty easy, and it turned out pretty nice. So if you make this, I'd really like to see a picture of it. You can post a picture on uh, my Bag of Day Crochet Facebook page. I'll put a link to that below in the description box. Um, I'm going to put a link below to my Etsy shop and to... Uh, you can always follow me on Pinterest and Twitter. I'll put all the links to that stuff below too. And until next time, have a good day.